Supposing you had the chance to get rid of some of your worst nightmares, what would they be? My guest is here tonight to persuade me to banish the items on his list to Room 101. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome Julian Clary. <laughs> I don't know who you are. <laughs> Julian, first of all, welcome to Room 101. Thank you. I'm trying to sit with my legs apart. Why, well, are you advertising or what? <laughs> I just thought it would make a change. So, Julian, what is to be your first item? What have you chosen, first of all, to go into Room 101? Well, I don't want to seem ungracious, but I've mm. chosen those celebrity party, celebrity bash kind of things. OK. This is um, an artist's impression of a celebrity bash. <laughs> So basically, it's all, all the kind of people that you would bump into at a, a celebrity party. So you get invited, you get an invitation. Well, you don't. <laughs> There's strings attached. You know, they say, come along to a marvellous party. Uh, but what you don't realise, it's sponsored by some magazine or other. So when you arrive, as you walk through the door, you think, oh, I'll just... And you're reaching for your glass of champagne, but you're whisked into a side door and then you're leapt upon by the likes of Leslie Joseph. <laughs> and you have to have your photograph taken, that's the deal. I think we've got a selection of photographs, because you have been to a few celebrity parties over the years. I think we've got a selection of stills here of you um, being with various uh, celebrities. There's you and your mum. I, <laughs> I think you've got a fag in your hand here, look. <laughs> Is that a party or were you just popping down the road for a pint of milk? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Bob Monkhouse does have very orange skin. <laughs> so, to make his skin look a, a sort of the right colour, you have to tone down everybody else. Cos I'm not normally as what I mean, that's about five days after death there, that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, well, no, that was look. the very party I had in mind. I've never met Leslie Joseph. You, you wouldn't know, guess it from the photograph, would you? <laughs> and she lured me into this booth and draped herself all over me. And I would extend this, this particular dislike of mine to first night theatre things that you get invited to. Mm -hmm. Didn't you go to the Jolson uh, premiere, the I old did. Jolson show? And I said, because I, I, I do have these turns from time to time, <laughs> and I need to sit by an aisle seat. And I made that very clear. So they said, you're in the middle of row C, sitting next to Jim Davidson. <laughs> well, I came over queasy. Queasy being the, the friend that you'd gone to the... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> so, how did, you, how, how did you extricate yourself from this situation? I located the seat I would like in an ideal well, mm -hmm. at the back of the stalls near an exit. <laughs> and there was a woman sitting in it, and I said, look, this is the deal, um, I'd like your seat. You can go and sit in row C next to Jim Davidson. Well, she wouldn't budge. <laughs> suddenly lost the use of her legs. <laughs> this is something which illustrates the value of celebrities. If we assume, let's say, um, let's assume that uh, one of these, right, little jelly babies, one of those is sort of Angus, right, that's Angus. <laughs> Angus is the equivalent of um, three Sue Pollards, which are uh, those there, those three red jelly babies are three Sue Pollards. Now, the equivalent Leslie Joseph of Sue Pollards are these number of jelly babies. <laughs> That's, that's Leslie Joseph's worth, um, mainly because she turns up at everything and, you know, you can't get rid of her. Um, celebrity parties, um, I don't know, I mean, they're, 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 a, they're a big tradition. What's the matter? I'm having a fiddle. Oh. <laughs> My show, I can do what I like. You can. <laughs> I can have a wank and a flower pot if I want. <laughs> so, I wish I'd bought my camera. <laughs> I'd wish I'd bought me flower pot. <laughs> What my problem is that they're now kind of... The that's the first are... time you've chewed a boy in half. <laughs> Your problem is, yes... Head first. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to hang on while I swallow? <laughs> Just to show you the, the, the history of, of celebrity uh, uh, bashes, um, we've got here The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci, but if we, if we close in, we can see Lionel Blair. <laughs> Am I going to put celebrity parties into Room 101? Well, I've been a few, to a few of them myself, and I know what you mean. They are fairly... Yeah, I think they're going to go in. Good, room hurrah. Yeah. So, 
Now, Julian, um, what's your next choice for Room 101? Well, it's completely different. Is it? Yes, you'll have to clear your mind right. completely. Yes. Um, um, I'm talking boats. I'm talking boats. boats. I don't like being on a boat. Have you got something in there that illustrates... Oh, sorry. Um... <laughs> it's a boat. <laughs> um... so why, why do you not like boats? I guess I like being on, on terra firma, you know, I don't like being out at sea. And also, you can't get off a boat. Once you're on the boat, you're, you're kind of stuck there, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unless you can persuade the driver to take you home. <laughs> The skipper. The skipper. Yeah. And then, yeah, well, that's another thing. There's all this silly terminology that <laughs> you can't cope with. And the, the hygiene facilities are m minimal. You don't get en suite. You get... <laughs> everyone has to share the same facility. And uh, I was, went to stay on a houseboat in Australia. Mm -hmm. It was delightful, except if you want to go to the toilet, there are instructions inside saying, if you've just done a number one, <laughs> and then you had to do this pump thing. <laughs> Five pumps for number one. Mm. <laughs> if you'd had a good clear out, <laughs> then 12 pumps were necessary. <laughs> and you could hear this pumping um, <laughs> all over the boat. So when, whenever it would start, everyone would stop talking <laughs> and listen. And if it went beyond five, then <laughs> <laughs> we all knew what had been going on. Did you, did, so did you find that uh, this made you very uncomfortable? Physically, you were, you were keeping it in? Well, you know, sometimes I'd go and do a number two, but I'd only do five pumps. <laughs> which felt very deceptive. I was suspicious at first when you picked this, as I thought this might be a, uh, just uh, an excuse on your part, just to use a load of sort of, um, you know, double entendres talking about, um, you know, I don't know, being tossed on the ocean waves, that sort of thing. <laughs> and I had installed this little buzzer here, because I, I, I thought that you might, because every time you do do something like that, I can, I'll show you, it's sort of, that, that will happen. OK. So it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a warning to you. You've Anymore. got to think of it from my point of view, Paul. Yeah. I'm a renowned homosexual. <laughs> I'll just make um, a note of that, sorry. <laughs> Some people didn't believe me in the office. This is a very kind of macho, masculine environment, especially sailing boats. You're saying that sailors are macho? Well, yes. Let's see how, how macho sailors are. So you were saying macho? <laughs> but I wonder if you see your 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 it's, it's your fear or your or your hatred of being on a boat could be engendered by um, television because there has been some spectacularly bad television programmes circulating around the whole concept of going to sea. Triangle, which, um, by the, judging by the title sequence, was a programme about a dead woman alone on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Initially, they were going to sort of, like, go all around the Greek islands, the 20 Greek islands. It was going to be called Dodecahedron. <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember seeing that? Because, I mean, there was lots of... Because Kate O'Mara was the star of it, and mm. people used to talk about Kate O'Mara's Triangle, because it yeah. used to be on on a... <laughs> <laughs> Monday, Wednesday and Friday... Hang on a minute. Hang on, sorry. <laughs> Monday... <laughs> It used to be on on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I seem to think. Mm. Um, That's know... another kind of boat I don't like, those big cruise ships. I saw a holiday programme recently. Mm. And uh, it's all this kind of holiday of a lifetime and as much as you can eat, but you, you still can't get off. And, uh, <laughs> as it were... 